100. Well done, Bypass, okay. on course, three quarter miles, 100. call the ball. 504, oh, Grizzly okay. ball, 30. 100. Gear line set, Grizzly. 100. Clear deck. One hundred. Five. Well done, that. bypass. On course. Three quarter miles. Call the ball. Five zero four. Five Grizzly that. ball. Three zero. One hundred. Five deck. Clear deck. So what we'll talk about now is leap and then the interactions that take place with that. So with the L size, I'm able to select different uh, screens I, I would want in operational setting. So one is ACLS, one is the video feed called Centerline Video. One of the other major ones is Movelis, where it puts up this interface where the, Mo, where the LSO or trainee can get a feedback of where they're positioning the light system. With the controller, the ELSO can interact, or the training can interact with the environment. One is through navigation, the other is through the uh, handset use that they would use in an operational setting. Uh, they can operate the uh, LSODs for another form of interaction. For the instructor's controller, uh, what they can do with that is they can modify the aircraft's profile, change its angle bank, change its pitch, as well as change environmental conditions as you can see right here. So the last part uh, that we'll talk about is object recognition. Uh, so we have the aircraft coming down. Uh, we have the arresting gear controller, our arresting gear officer there, as well as the arresting gear officer uh, in the background over there on the uh, horizon. During the daytime, the aircraft is right there. You can also see them on the screen, changing it to nighttime. Uh, we can see the uh, same elements as well.